What's up, MTG Arena fans? I'm Mason Ortiz, and this is my channel, MTG Budget Brew. My goal is to provide fun and interesting decks on a budget. And to make my decks budget, I limit myself by only using a total of four rare slash mythic cards in the deck, so a playset's worth. Today, I felt like playing something simple and fun, and I knew just the card that would satisfy that craving. I don't know. Anyway, if you guys don't already know, I first started playing Magic when I'm a Cat was the newest set, so that and Hours of Devastation have like a soft spot in my heart. I would almost call this like a comfort pick. But our rare for today is Crested Sunmare. It's 3 into white for 5 5 horse that says, Other horses you control have indestructible, and at the beginning of each end step, if you gain life this turn, create a 5 5 white horse creature token. Now, today's artist shoutout goes to Lucas Graciano. Fun fact, I just finished recording my Azorius Vogels deck because I'm going back to California for 10 days, so I'm doubling up on recordings because I want at least 5 videos to post while I'm gone. You know, one for every other day. Anyway, when I looked at Lucas's 161 cards, 2 cards stuck out to me. The first was Aether Tunnel because I just played with it in my Vogels deck, so that's cool. But the other card that I considered for today's thumbnail was Shield Mare. Guess who made that card? Lucas did. Isn't that just like a wild coincidence? The two cards that I picked for the thumbnail have the same artist. That's like, it's so unlikely, but I thought that was cool and worth sharing. The other horses that we're running are Diamond Mare and Shield Mare, both of which can gain us life, which is literally perfect for us. After that, our other ways to gain life are Soul Mender, Lone Rider, Revitalize, and Inspiring Overseer. For some additional draw, I also have Spirited Companion in the deck. Next, we have Removal with Dawnbringer Cleric, Ossification, and Borrowed Time as well. Our mana base is 22 Planes, 1 Gate to the Citadel, and 1 Chef at Dunes. I'm trying to expand my use of non-basic lands, even in monocolored decks. I do love basics though. Now it's about time we gallop into some matches and see just how much horsepower this deck has. Were those terrible? Yeah, probably. Alright guys, here we are in game number one. And as you can see, the horses deck has been doing pretty well so far. Five and one with the deck. Yeah, 83% win rates. So uh, let's see if we can uh, keep that up. Opening hand, Soul Mender, Diamond Mare, Spirit Companion, Shield Mare, two lands. It's all looking good. It's all coming together already. Soul Mender has been really, really good for the deck. I thought about running uh, Soul Warden prior to Soul Mender, but... Soul Mender I just like a lot more because it can guarantee that we gain life during our opponent's turn. If our opponent's not running a creature heavy deck, then Soul Warding doesn't necessarily get us the triggers during our opponent's turn. But Soul Mender, good. It's very good. Uh, question is, do I want to draw or do I want to just set up Diamond Mare? I'll set up Diamond Mare. It's fine. Uh, we're going against what appears to be a mill deck. And I'm not sure that we're going to be fast enough to beat them. Persistent pre uh, Petitioners. It's one mana to tap it, target player mills eight card. Tap four untapped advisors you control, target player mills 12 cards. Okay. And they can have any number of Petitioners. So let's see. I think I need to... Man, Shield Mare's still small compared to their Petitioners. They can still block it. That's rough. This is, mm, depending on how many petitioners they get out, this might be a tough one. But if we lose game one, I can't. I can't imagine that anyone would be surprised. I just cannot win game number one. Uh, and I'll pass. It really just seems to be a struggle for some reason. I swear the game knows when it's my first game of a recording session. It just, it knows. It has to. Because, like I said uh, in the intro, I just finished recording the Vogels video, which I am re releasing way in advance of this video but i lost that game number one i lost that game number one and then went undefeated six and zero after that ridiculous absolutely ridiculous couldn't win game number one never can at least that's what it feels like and i don't know that today will be an exception now i haven't even been paying attention to what we milled ossification it's fine please let me draw crested sun there let me get it let me get the Sun Mare. That's a Lone Rider. I would love to get the additional draw, but I, I really want to set up this Lone Rider. Uh, unless they have a counter spell. Because getting that to flip, that's going to be huge for us. 
That is big enough to contest the petitioners. Okay, we mill one. It's a spirit companion. Sick. Uh, no attacks. End the turn. Lone Rider flips. Dude, Lone Rider, super great in this deck. Super, super great. It can be a little bit... A little bit awkward trying to flip Lone Rider. But it can usually be done. And when it flips, it's so good. Look at it. It's a 4-4 four, four, first strike trample life. Like, that's good. That's really good. Okay, uh, opponent's tapped out. Let's try and draw into a Crested Sunmare. Come on, let me get it. Come on, give me the Sunmare. Please. Pretty please. Let me get the Sunmare. If we can get Sunmare out, dude, then I will feel very confident that we can win this game. Ah, that's the wrong horse. Come on, show me the big one. Show me the big horse. Running four of them. Come on. Let me get it. Just this once. Right now. Come on, just the one time. Ah, it's not it. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to set up the gate to the Citadel. We can pay for mana tap this. Seek a non-land card. Activate only once. We'll probably do that next turn. Okay, they have five petitioners. And they only need four, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to swing that. That's the only thing that matters. If I swing with either of our other horses, or just either of our horses, they just chump block it. It that rides is one, unfortunately, not a horse. He's a human knight and then an, an Eldrazi horror. Dude, if this was also a horse, this deck would be nuts. Oh, God. I don't think I saw a Crested Sunmare. It went by fast, but... No Sunmare. Okay. Maybe we get lucky. Come on. We got to have a decent chance to top deck it right now, right? 13% chance? That's pretty decent. But, dude, I really think we're going to lose to Petitioners. We're just too slow. That's wild. Ah, uh, unlucky. Okay, so we're going to use Gate to the Citadel. Come on, show me Sunmare. 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 Inspiring Overseer. Rash. Unlucky. Yeah, we're going to lose game number one. Bro, I've never I've never made a Petitioner's deck. I think maybe once I made a Historic Brawl deck. Where I ran, you know, a bunch of them. Maybe. I can't even guarantee that I did that. With, like, you know, Bruvac as uh, the commander. But yeah, this is maybe making me reconsider it. Might not be that bad. I mean, it'd be really, really cheap to uh, to craft this deck. Just a bunch of islands. Craft four petitioners, and you can use as many as you want. That's how cards like this work. Once you have a full playset, you can run as many as you want. Oh, that was like three Sun Mares, dog. That was all four Sun Mares. That's trash. Yeah, we're going to lose. We can't. We can't kill them in like one turn. They got us. They did it. They did it with the petitioners. Damn. Well. I'm not even I'm not even mad. We just we just didn't have it. <laughs> and their deck is definitely not one I see often. And honestly, again, I think I'm gonna have to give out the petitioners a try. That's uh that's interesting. Alright, end me already. Get this over with. And there it goes. And I lose game one to everyone's surprise. Everyone's shocked right now. I'm sure of it. You guys are dumbstruck. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys. Here we are in game number two. Opening hand. We got Lone Rider. Yeah, some removal, a little bit of draw. And it'll have to be good enough. I've only got about an hour to record this gameplay because I have to go pick up a friend uh, at the airport in about an hour. He's flying in for. Portland, well, for Pokemon's uh, Portland Regionals. Yes, we're going to go do that tomorrow. So that will give you an indication uh, of today's date that I'm recording. Today is the 5th for me, May 5th. Uh, let's see, I'll play Lone Rider in case we happen to draw, like, Revitalize or something to flip it. Yeah, and it's already 3.40. His flight lands at 4.30. So I've got a little under an hour uh, until his flight lands. 
So yes, whatever whatever these matches uh, give us, it's what we're gonna rock with. No attacks, pass. Cruel Celebrant, so they're an Aristocrats deck. Ooh, Phyrexian Arena. Greedy, okay. Shield Mare, I can't Ossification that. I think I go for the Draw of Spirit Companion first though. Bro, while the lands. I'm good, I'm good on lands, I really am. Connect for three. Okay. So you see, next turn, depending on what we draw. No, I still couldn't flip. I was gonna say we might be able to flip Lone Rider. No, we couldn't. Oh, there's the Revitalize. Okay, never mind, we can. Seraph of the Scales. I don't know this card. Four mana four three angel. Pay a white, it gains vigilance. Pay a black, it gains death touch to under turn it has afterlife two, so when it dies, it creates two of these one one spirits, which are super badass looking. I love this artwork. Josh has killed it. Okay, so we are going to be able to flip. So I guess we just revitalize, get our draw. More lands, of course, why not? And we just ossification the seraph. Connect in for some damage. Nice. Get the flip. Bone Rider's looking good. Opponent goes down to 12. If they have removal for the it that rides it one. It that rides is one. I'll be very sad. But if they don't, that's game. Let's go. Hell yeah. I will take that. I'll take that all day. And naturally, because it's no longer game one, I actually have a chance at winning matches. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys, here we are in another match, and we have it. We have the Sun Mare in hand. If our opponent's sleeves are any indication, uh, we we're going to be in a solid matchup, I think, if they were a uh, mono-red aggro. But it does not look like they are. Hey, what are you... You have one green. What are you doing? That's very suspicious. What would they have? What would they have? Tamiyo Safekeeping, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Golgari, I see you. I see you. Um, I'm just gonna spirit a companion. See, if we find a lone rider. Try to hold on to the revitalize. Ossification, it's fine. Yeah, they, it's got to be Tamio safekeeping, right? What other green instants do people run? And I say Tamio safekeeping, but like any kind of protection spell, like snakeskin veil. That's, you know, it's the same thing, really. So I have some kind of protection spell. Good to know. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that is good to know. We do have ossification. Ruin rats. When this dies, exile target card from your opponent's graveyard. I don't really care about that. So that's fine. Uh, I don't think I need to ossification that. So I'm going to revitalize. Shield mare. Okay. I'm fine playing that next turn. We'll be a little bit off curve, but no biggie. I'll swing the Spirit of Companion. I'm fine taking this trade. So our opponent want to use their instant. Status. Star creature gets plus one, plus one against Death Touch. Oh, interesting. Didn't you already have Death Touch? They really... <laughs> they really wanted to keep that rat around. Dog, oh, he's just until end of turn, too. That's crazy. I respect it, though. I was actually just looking at this card... Maybe yesterday? Uh, let's see. When they enters the battlefield, choose a creature card in your hand. It perpetually gains death touch. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tap this. Gain our life. Man, their death touch? That's so unfortunate for them. <laughs> our horses are going to match up very, very well against them. Nice. I would assume that they're running some kind of fight effect, right? Like, they, they have to be. So... They could use a fight effect plus their death touch to kill our Crescent Sun Mare, which would be a bummer. But if they manage, or if we manage to get uh, both out, if they allow us to get double Sun Mares, they give each other indestructible. Because it's not even a legendary. And dude, they're screwed. There's nothing they can do at that point. Alright, Sun Mare number one. Tap Soul Mender right now. And swing in with Shield Mare. Go, baby. That's horse token number one. Now, again, they have to have the fight effect here. Or the removal spell. Because if they don't, they are so screwed. If they think that they can 
wait. If they think they can hold off a turn. Oh, we got him. That's that's game. That's so game. All right, this can go. The double Sunmare. It's too good. They can do nothing. And we can just... We can just trample over them. Not trample. I keep wanting to say trample. Stampede over them? Do horses stampede? Like, probably, right? Yeah, I keep wanting to say trample over them. Like, they're horses. And I guess I associate the word trample with horses. But they don't actually have trample. Unfortunately. Oh my god. But look at, look at our board. Look at all the horses. It's like a farm in here, dude. Yeah, there's, there's just nothing. Oh, I should have sequenced that better. I should have played a uh, Diamond Mare. I guess I can still play the Shield Mare, gain life for this turn. So I'll play this, so we gain our three life on ETB. So that way, this turn we make horses, and then we save the Soul Mender for our opponent's turn. Oh, dude, that's such an unlucky matchup for them, though. Death Touch versus Indestructible Horses. You can't beat the horses. You literally, you literally can't beat the horses, dog. They're, like, immune. Yeah, they're just immune to getting their ass beat. <laughs> They're immune to abuse. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. All creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can get my soul menders and I'll tap this. Oh. Uh, I feel so bad for them. Yeah, that's game. That's a, that's a real unfortunate matchup for them. But for us, that was fucking lit, dude. The double sun mare. You're not beating it. It was too good. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys, here we are in another game and our opening hand looks fire. Diamond Mare on two, we need to get some draw on three. If it looks like we're gonna miss our fourth land drop or we can just drop Shield Mare and Crested, Crested Sun Mare, opening hand again. You'll love to see it. And we're on the play? Bro, it is my lucky day aside from game number one. <laughs> uh, okay. We are playing against a life gain deck. Now, I have played this deck against a life gain deck, and we can win. It's just very annoying. This is going to be a long match. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. That is interesting. Really? Legion lieutenants. So you're not pure life gain. Okay. So we got options here. I did talk about using Inspiring Overseer to try and get our fourth land drop. Part of me really wants to drop Lone Rider, though, and then drop Shield Mare next turn. But then we're really not making uh, any horse tokens. So I guess we have to Inspiring Overseer. Man, I really would have loved to use Lone Rider there. Ooh. I think Inspiring Overseer was a good call because it looks like we're going to miss land drop number four. If we hadn't played that, we were going to lose. We were going to miss the drop. Pay five mana, exile target creature. Then, if there are three or more cards, exile the profane procession transform it. That can get rid of Sunmare, even if we have double. That's not good. Uh, I think I still have to go for the Inspiring Overseer. Soul Mender. Ah, see, we had enough mana, or we had enough life gain to flip the Lone Rider. Okay, um, yeah, swing two in the air. Okay, okay. So, opponent still doesn't have five mana yet. They can only go up to four this turn. Are they missing a land drop? If they miss a land drop, that is so huge for us. And we hit ours. Oh, dude, our opponents, they're screwed now. Unless they have another exile effect in hand. Then we're, we're going to get them. Did gain a life from the diamond there. All right, that's one five five. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Don't touch my horse. Ixalan's binding. 
Oh, you're lying to me. Are you fucking serious? I can't cast spells with the same name as the Exiled Guard. I hate Ixalan's Binding so much. It's such a good card. Should really run it more. Okay. We have one single option. <laughs> or, yeah, we have we can get lucky with one card. Dawnbringer Cleric and destroy target enchantment. It is a 2% chance for us to find that. So I'm going to Lone Rider. Revitalize. Get our draw, get enough life to flip the Lone Rider. Drop this. Uh, I can still swing in with a 5-5. Five, five. I can still swing 4 in the air. I think I'm going to do that. They could double block the horse. They don't. Opponent's going to hit land drop number 5, though. So they can exile it that rides as 1. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Takes a long time. Oh, they get rid of the 5-5. Five, five. Okay, understandable. I think it that rides as 1 is better. Would have Would have been a better target, though. It's like, it's got, it's got trample, first strike, and lifelink. The other was just a 5-5. Five five. Dog. It's so sad seeing the Sunmare in hand, but I just can't use it. Okay, uh, we can all attack here. They're going to need to block the 4. It's fine. They didn't need to double block, I don't think. Ugh. But we set them to 1, unless they board wipe us here. Like, what would be bad? Meat Hook Massacre? Uh, creating three two twos, that's pretty bad as well. And you gain two life, why would you not? Ooh, Lone Rider. Let's play this. Oh, you know what? I don't swing anything on the ground. That's still this game. Got it. Wasn't even worried. Was I worried about the binding? Not at all. The card means nothing to me. All right. See you guys in the next match. All right, guys. Here we are. This is going to be the final game. This is going to be uh, the fifth game already, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Do I want to keep this? This is a slow hand. We do have a little bit of draw, but if we don't find Sun Mare or like Shield Mare, I think it's too slow. I'm going to mulligan. It's risky, but I am now happy that I did it. We keep six. I think I ditch. I don't necessarily need Diamond Mare. Hmm. That may have been greedy. I'm not sure what the right call was there. See, I wanted to keep the Revitalize so that we could more... that Just so that we'd be more likely to hit all the land drops we need to press at Sun Mare. I don't know if it was the right call. Oh man, opponent's another death touch deck. This is this is real rough for them out here. Okay, I'm now very happy with our decision. So we're gonna shield mare here. We gain three life. Cool. Hopefully nothing bad happens to shield mare. Or if they have removal, hopefully they do use it against shield mare. No blocks. Do you have removal? If you do, show it to me. Nope. Boot dipper. Okay. They might not run a ton of removal because they are a death touch deck. We're gonna revitalize here. It's gonna flip the Lone Rider. No attacks. Now, it that rides is one. That's gonna be our main source of uh, of life gain. So we can really do with that staying alive. Uh, dog, I got first strike. I don't. Not sure what you're going for here. I guess you get to buff the other things. Whenever creature control with death touch deals damage to a player, plans walk for a plus plus counter on a creature. That's fair. All right, Crested Sun Mare. I am going to have to attack with it. That rides as one. I can swing here and kill Vraska. Oh, it's fine. God, first strike is so good. It that rides as one is so good. I'm telling you, it's so... I love Lone Rider. Lone Rider is the GOAT. Fire Train, that's fine. Dog, that's so unlucky for our opponents. It's like the game knows. I, I feel like I'm usually on the receiving end of this, right? Or the game just gives me really shitty matchups. Hey, Don Bringer Cleric. This is the wrong game. We don't need you anymore. Like, like the game gives you unfavorable matchups. And I feel like I'm on the receiving end most of the time. 
But this is definitely a case of our opponents being on the receiving end. Uh, let's see. We are already going to gain life. I don't think I need to play the cleric. So I swing you, you, and you. Not Crested Sunmare because it is not indestructible. <laughs> okay. Okay, they get the it that rides as one. But, we get another horse. So, we're chilling. We're chilling. See, Soul Mender would be really nice to have right here. Or Death Touch. Okay, I think I want to use the Gate to the Citadel. Still have two mana, so I can still play Dawnbringer Cleric to gain life for the turn. Ooh, or better yet, I can set up a Soul Mender. We gain one life from the Diamond Mare. Sick. Swing you, 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 and you. We're at 32 life, opponents at 17. Dog, that is such... Yeah, this is really just a shitty matchup for our opponents, though. Their death touch means nothing against us. Nothing at all. But it Blight Fang, it's a good card. They hold back everything to try and survive. I don't know if it'll work out, man. Spirit of Companion. Gain a life, so we'll get a horse. Nice, we hit the land drop, which allows us to use... Oh, I've already did... I already used that. Never mind, I can't use that. Okay, so we just go to combat. Swing you, 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 you. And you. Five attackers. They have to block pretty much everything. Nice damage. We just played Spirit of Companion, right? Yeah. We have two lands tapped, so we will get another horse token. And uh, this Soul Mender, I think he's going to seal the deal. And that's game. Dude, this is just like the Bogles video that I just recorded. I lost game one, then went undefeated. I will see you guys in final thoughts. All right, guys, here we are in final thoughts. And here are my final stats. I am 9-2 with the deck across two versions. You guys just saw me in this play session, 5-1. and one. Again, aside from game one, the game, it knows. Arena knows when I'm recording my first game. Aside from that, undefeated. Took the next four dubs in a row. No problem. Crested Sunmares put in that work. Yeah, look at that. That would have been a nice recording session, too. Four and one. Lost on game number three, not game number one. Would have been solid. But yeah, I think the stats are, uh, yeah, they, you know, kind of speak for themselves a little bit. 9-2, and two, it's pretty, pretty solid. 82% win rates, 89% on the play, 82% on the draw. Crested Sunmare, I like it. I think it's a very cool card. I think it's a fun card. How often do you see horses? You really don't. When's the last time you went up against a Diamond Mare or a Shield Mare? It's probably been a minute. If ever. You may have never seen Shield Mare before. Diamond Mare, I have actually seen in a few games. You know, some people do like it for life gain. And it is easy to slot it into any deck because it's, you know, colorless. But dude, Crested Sun Mare, don't underestimate the horses. Making a 5-5 five, five indestructible horse token during each turn, it's pretty good. And also, Lone Rider, super sick. Highly recommend you keep it in the deck. Yeah, uh, we didn't... Gate to the Citadel, we did get to see it once. It did prove useful. I like it. We didn't get to see Chef at Dunes. So that's okay. But uh, yeah, overall, I like the deck. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I like the deck. It's good. It's solid. If you've never played around with Crest of Sun Mare, I recommend that you do. But that's all I got for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.